amid a chorus of voices calling for the American president to step down and allow other alternative candidates to take the field after his debate debacle, top Democratic leaders have reportedly ruled out any plan to replace Joe Biden. After a stumbling performance during the first presidential debate, there were widespread reports of panic within the Democratic Party. Several major news publications via their editorial columns also advised Biden to step down and allow a younger alternative candidate to take over and offer a better chance of taking on Trump in November. But top Democrats have unambiguously ruled out such efforts. Senator Raphael Warnock, one of the potential replacements being suggested for Biden, said absolutely not when asked to comment on the debate and the possibility of replacing Biden. Warnock, like many other Democratic leaders, said that bad debates happen and chose instead to focus on what would happen if Trump were to win in November. Senator Chris Coons from Delaware went so far as to say that Biden is the only Democrat that can defeat Trump. Still, not everyone is convinced. And another senior Democrat, Jamie Raskin, said that the party was having honest and serious discussions about Biden's future after the debate. After a shaky performance by US President Joe Biden during the first debate against Donald Trump, some members of the American leader's inner circle are seemingly looking to assign blame. According to a report by the New York Times, some members of the presidential family and even top Democratic donors are blaming his advisors for fumbling with the debate preps. Specifically, the accusations focus on Ron Klain, Anita Dunn and Bob Ball. Complaints ranged from the president being too bogged down with numbers and statistics during the debate to his pale and pasty appearance when he appeared on stage. The report goes on to say that while these members of Biden's inner circle want the advisors to be replaced, the president himself does not blame them and is unlikely to comply. As Donald Trump campaigns his way across the country and makes his appearance at numerous fundraiser events ahead of uh, the 2024 election, his wife Melania Trump has been conspicuously absent, fueling a number of rumours. Now, reports have emerged that Melania has made a deal with Trump stipulating that if he were to become US President again, she would not be taking on First Lady duties 24-7. One of the sources quoted for such reports said that Melania wishes to remain in New York, not only because she is comfortable there, but also because it places her in close proximity to her son Baron, who just started college. Melania, who has always sought to shield her son from excessive public attention since Donald Trump ran for president in 2016, is reportedly planning on splitting her time between residences in New York and Florida. According to the source, she will only attend ceremonies in the White House as and when necessary. This concern for Barrett's well-being is not new. In 2017, Melania delayed moving into the White House with her son for five months so he could finish the school year uninterrupted in New York City. She was also reportedly less than happy when the Florida Republican Party offered her son a delegate position for the upcoming Republican National Convention, which was later declined. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comment section. And for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.